Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about the Rogue Deadlift platform, which I've owned for several months now, but have not yet done a review on. And it's really come back to bite me in the ass. Now I say that because one of the things I wanted to talk about today was the initial video I did on this platform where I talked about the design flaw, where I had to go back in and add some extra pieces of wood in order to balance things out to make it usable. And I was gonna really ding Rogue on this, but when I was looking at their website and pulling some information for this video, I noticed that they actually have now offered their own version of this fix, which just so happens to be a carbon copy down to the exact specifications of the same fix that I recommended in my video. Now, I'm not gonna take credit for this fix because I know many other people did it before me, but I will take some of the credit and bring it to Rogue's attention because as you can see, Rogue's director of product development actually commented on my video. So, in one way or another, you're welcome. Humble brag over. Kind of, but not really. I just thought that was pretty cool that they actually listened to some of the feedback. Although if you go and you look at the reviews on Rogue's website, you can actually see a lot of people mention that there is a problem that needed to be fixed. So I'm glad to see that they took the advice and are now offering a fix at an additional cost, of course. Now, as far as this actual platform goes, another reason why I held off on doing a review on it for a couple of months is because it's really hard to review this kind of product because when you boil it down, it is just simply a frame. Now it's a really nice, well-built frame, but it is just a frame. And yes, it does allow you to do band pulls on deadlifts, but to be honest, most people that I know that own this don't actually utilize it for that. And unless you train like the conjugate method or you wanna do some sort of varying resistance added on top of it, they're just basically aesthetics. Because again, I've owned it for a couple of months now and I can count probably the times on one hand that I've actually done band pulls on this platform. Yes, it looks nice. Yes, it's functional for that kind of stuff. In reality, in practical application, it's just not there. So it is a very nice frame. And that's really what I wanna focus on here because Rogue does sell some ballistic tiles that you can put inside the frame because if you did not know, you have to actually put something inside of it. You can't just buy the actual frame itself and expect to deadlift in it. You have to put something inside. Now, in my instance, I actually put my old deadlift platform that I built from home in and for the most part, it's exactly the same as it was before. It now just has a nice frame on it. Now, of course, you can do band pulls, as I mentioned, but I do not do them. So it is my old deadlift platform with a nice frame. I just want to kind of emphasize that a lot because it's really just a frame. But that being said, Rogue does offer their own ballistic tiles, which you can put in. It basically ends up being one and a half inches worth of flooring in it, which is exactly what I have now, but at a very high cost, which I'll talk a little bit about later. The big downside to me in the actual ballistic tiles that Rogue sells, number one, again, the cost, which I'll dive into more detail on, but also the fact that the tiles are just two by two, so that ends up with a lot of seams on the platform itself. So if you're the type of person who doesn't like to have your feet or the bar kind of rest on those seams, you're in for a shock because if you go the ballistic tile route, that's only your real option because you're basically deadlifting on a grid and although there are seams, they are not seamless, meaning that sometimes the bar can settle in those seams, can throw you off a little bit, they can be a little uneven, especially if you don't imply the fix that I talk about in my other video, which I'll link in the description, or the one that Rogue now sells at an additional cost. Uh, so I don't really wanna go that route, especially because the cost, and again, it is just a frame. Now, even though I'm being pretty negative in terms of what it actually is and the application of it, I will say that it is very nice. I do not think that it is very practical for most home gym, or actually for all home gym applications. I don't think you need this unless you really want to do band pulls. But again, if you have a full power cage like I have here, you could probably figure it out and do it that way. It can be done. Um, I don't think it's applicable for home use. I think the cost just outweighs the benefit. Even for gym use, it's tough to kind of value the cost as if it is useful or not. But I do think aesthetically, it is very pleasing, especially for a gym atmosphere. I think it's nice to have dedicated deadlift places, especially if you have band pulls or something like that. Although again, it's not necessary. You could take a look, for example, at Untamed Strength, which is Alan Thrall's gym. Plenty of deadlift platforms built, all of which do not have nice frames on it. So again, I think it's more of a luxury item. That said, I'm not dissatisfied with the purchase. Again, I think it's a very nice product. I just think based off the price point and what you actually get out of it in terms of use, it's really hard to justify for most people, unless of course you have a large commercial gym space, in which case I think it makes more sense. So hopefully that makes some sense. And the reason I'm kind of not diving into price just yet is because for this video, again, there's not much to say on the product itself, but there is some things to talk about the price. So for that, I wanna actually take you upstairs 
out of the basement, I know, it's scary. Relax, take a deep breath, hold my hand, we'll make it there, and kind of break some things down on the computer. So let's go down there and take a look at the price, and I kind of give you some more insight if you are interested in buying this, just some helpful suggestions. All right, so here we are on the Rogue's website, and as you can see, you're presented with two different options when it comes to platforms, one that costs $367.50, and one that costs $305, and no cents. And in my opinion, it doesn't make any sense to get this one because this one does not include the stabilizer plates that the more expensive version does. And I think the majority of people watching this video and buying this platform are better off going this route because this version does not need to be bolted to the ground, whereas the cheaper version does. Now, speaking for myself, owning a home gym, I didn't wanna bolt anything to the ground of my garage or my basement. I know many of you don't also. I also know many people who own gym spaces that don't want to bolt the unit to the ground for the same reason, as well as the fact that they have the tendency to rearrange equipment and not having things bolted down makes things much, much easier. I will say with regardless of which version you choose to go with, you will get the brackets to bolt it to the ground if you ever change your mind and want to do so. Now, because most of us, in my opinion, should be getting this version here, the more expensive version with the stabilizer plates, it does mean you will have to imply the fix that I called out in my earlier videos. And if you wanna go directly through Rogue for this fix, it's an additional $55. Now they say this is optional, which it is, because you don't have to do it. But in my opinion, if you buy this through them, it should be included. And it's just unfortunate that charging $55. So in my version, I think it ended up costing $30. Now that's going to vary depending on where you're located and which kind of plywood you get, but it is an additional cost. Now, speaking of additional costs, one of the things we also have to factor in here is shipping. So let's say that you just wanted to get the regular deadlift platform here for 367. One of the things that you have to factor in is, at least for me, the shipping cost is an additional $57.55, which brings my investment up to $425.05. Now, if I wanted to go the more lazy route and pay a little bit more money, which in some cases, if you're buying through Rogue, you're probably used to already. Let's say I wanted to add the wood on on top of that. Not only does it add $55 to my total cost, it also adds probably about another $20 worth of shipping and my all-in cost jumps to $497.50. And that's probably where the most you would spend in terms of investment is because you can see that they also offer these rubber tiles. I would not suggest getting them. Number one, they're extremely expensive at $265, especially when you compare it to the cost of rubber through tractor supply store and getting some stall mats through them but it also adds a ton of money when you talk about shipping. So let's say you wanted to just know what the all-in cost. I'll give you my example with my shipping rates included to get the platform, to get the rubber tiles, and to get the three-piece wood insert set to make sure that everything is level. I would be looking at a total investment, including shipping, of $836.29. Now that's a lot of money. So if you're going to go this route of getting the platform, I would suggest just going with the platform or the frame itself and doing everything else locally, meaning that you can get this three-piece wood insert set from Home Depot or Lowe's or your local hardware store, probably for around $30. Or if you don't wanna get a platform whatsoever, you can build your own and it'll probably cost you a total investment of around $120. And what I'm factoring in there is two pieces of plywood, one for the base and one for the center piece, and then one stall mat, which you can then cut for the sides and make something similar to what you're seeing here in this picture. And again, the cost would be about $120. So hopefully all this makes sense. Hopefully this answers some questions if you're thinking about getting this platform. Again, I really like the product. I don't like the investment it takes. I don't think it's practical for most, but if you have any other questions that weren't addressed, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to those as soon as I can. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.